But who is she? She's with some band called the Camberwell Beauties. They're simply frightful. Every cliche in the book. I went to see them with Malcolm. I think I read something about her. Isn't she the one who had some kind of accident and came out of hospital looking... beautiful? A lot of my films focus uh, uh, around London, I suppose, because that's where my experiences um, hail from. And um, also because, like most great cities, it becomes a mecca for the outsider artist uh, to escape to. And um, in that melting pot of anonymity, um, it, they find their, um, I suppose, their um, identity um, um, of self-expression. Camberwell Beauty is um, a post-punk parable, um, which is about um, a band and the girl singer Netta, a punk band, who um, uh, has a horrific accident on her motorbike with her boyfriend and becomes miraculously transformed and uh, that's when her problems start, really, because uh, she doesn't want to become part of the celebrity culture. And she fights for her truth and integrity and her values and uh, becomes rather unpopular in the process. It's very important that independent cinemas uh, support independent film. Uh, and the outlet for independent, truly independent film, I mean, and that, so it's not um, because there's all this thing with what's independent, what isn't. Um, and this is totally independent, unfunded by anybody. I mean, everybody has actually done this from nothing. It's, 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 it's quite phenomenal. And I'm hoping that that was a big thing in the 80s, but I'm hoping it's come to make a big comeback. And it's, it's great that the Ritzy and the Hackney Picture House are supporting a very unique kind of venture now. It's hopefully a birth of a new independent cinema.